Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Twit Specials is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Twit Live Special number 294, recorded Tuesday, August 2nd, 2016. Samsung Unpacked 2016. This Twit Live Special brought to you by Braintree. Mobile app development can be complex, but integrating your payment no longer has to be. With Braintree, your business can accept nearly every type of payment from any device with one simple integration. Learn more at BraintreePayments.com slash twit. I'm Leo Laporte. Joining me right now, Ron Richards. Hello, Ron. Good morning, Leo. How are you doing? A good morning. Yeah, it's 11 a.m. Eastern, but we're back on the West Coast where it's morning. <clears throat> <Yeah. laughs> Jason Howell will be joining us as soon as he drops his kids off uh, at school. And any minute now, we expect to go to uh, the event. I, it's being... Is it in New York? Because I know it's being broadcast. I it's, believe it's. I believe it's in New York. I, everything I've read said this is coming from New York. So, but they uh, also if, mentioned uh, a, a bunch of other places around the world. Well, the the slide that they've got up now, currently on the live stream, mentions. I think I saw Rio de Janeiro on there, and which is London. probably uh, yeah. And London. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm wondering if uh, you know, of course, Rio is where the Olympics are. No, the, yeah. yeah. Yep, it is. Yep. So. The Maybe Samsung's a sponsor there, and London's where the Olympics were, and New York is where the Olympics will never be. <laughs> God, so. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so um, maybe maybe there's something going on there. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, we are going to cover this live, and as I said, Jason will be joining us uh, soon. And I believe, uh, is uh, Flo going to join us as well, Florence Ion? I don't think so. No, just the, just yeah. the three of us. Just, just the three of us, yep. That's right. So. I think Flo had some some uh, engagement, like yeah. sleeping. <laughs> I brought my Galaxy Note 5 uh, with me just for old time's sake. I think you were already saying earlier uh, that there were lots of rumors. Samsung has even really kind of said what they're going to announce, right? Yeah, it's pretty much it's pretty much out there. And I was actually talking about the skipping of the Galaxy uh, Note Six. Yeah. Because they wanted to align the uh, the the naming convention of all the products, which makes sense. It's just funny. But um, but yeah, no, we've seen you know rumors of a of a curved screen, a waterproof S Pen, uh, some other stuff. So and, we, and as you said, we'll we'll surely see VR. They're they're streaming this in immersive yeah. 360 degree video. If you have a Gear VR. Strap it on, go to the uh, Gear VR store and download the Samsung Unpacked app, and you could look around while you see this. Although, last time they did immersive video, you could only see the stage. You couldn't really, it wasn't truly immersive. It was just a wide angle view of the stage. Here we go, I think. All right. Exciting. Dramatic drum music. Lots of S pens. I actually <laughs> love the uh, Galaxy <laughs> Note. I've had every note since oh. day one. Yep. Back when I was mocked for having a phone that looked like a giant Hershey bar. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's commonplace. In fact, uh, you know, I just got the Axon 7 from ZTE. It's the same size as a Galaxy yeah. Note, but it's not billed as a jumbo phone by any means. It's just standard. Yeah, I have a lot of friends who swear by the Note. Yeah, love it. And I do like the stylus. All right. So dramatic. Wow. You're in New York, Ron, or are you? Are you I am. I am yeah. in New York. I'm so not at the event, but yeah. But so. You're not up early. <laughs> no, I've been up for a while. <laughs> All right, well. So this is a peace anthem from Botswana. Unity. Mm. And then France. In the U.S., uh, going for a global approach Brazil. here. Brazil. That was uh, called a prayer, Moisin. Maria, Malawi. Malawi. Oh. U.K. So they're mixing anthems from every nation. It looks like New Zealand. Is that okay to do? <laughs> I don't think Samsung's. it's against the law, Germany. <laughs> uh, and Samsung is a global company, after all. And uh, yeah. Samsung Galaxy phones are, 
I think now, if you consider N an error occurred, uh, that's oh. probably at our end. Okay. I would guess. Looks like our browser uh, crashed. <laughs> Playlist ID error. Uh, I don't know if that's a Samsung issue. Let me check here on my, on YouTube on my end. Are they streaming it on YouTube? Because uh, we might be playing it from the Samsung uh, site. That's probably what we were doing. Boy, it's a shame to interrupt that nice hodgepodge of anthems. There we go. We got it back. That's a, this is the YouTube. Fan. Ladies and gentlemen. Just in time for it to stop again. I think a lot of people are probably joining this at the same time. And see, there, the, there is the Rio. to the stage. President of Olympics Mobile Communications logo. Business, DJ Co. Co uh, also hosted the last unpacked yeah. event of the Galaxy S7. And did a great job, I thought. He did. Oh. Yeah. Oh, lots of spotlight here. I feel like they're movie star George Clooney. <laughs> Who? But I will admit, <laughs> you can feel it's totally different. Thank you, and welcome. It's great to be here in New York. And it's a pleasure to welcome friends from around the world as we unpack the newest version of the world's most intelligent smartphone. So let me extend my greetings oh, to the people the London Rio, joining us yeah. from London. Soccer hooligans. I learned like, what you guys did. You have the lunch, fish and chips. Jeez. I this is just to give a global aspect to it. To be like, it's it's, 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 it's rapidly Thank heading you. towards train wreck. I must say. Celebration. <laughs> and uh, we need a meter. We need a meter. Like the movie star Jalorj Karuni is just joining us right now in the uh, studio. In He's very tall. I. <laughs> And Rio. Yeah, don't drink the water. I'm so glad you can join us too. Actually, I'll be there soon. I want to have the uh, Chuasco and glass of wine when I go there. For Samsung, it has been an honor to be the worldwide Olympic partner in the oh, wide the communications equipment category for nearly reviews are now starting to come out uh, today so the embargo must have lifted london, exactly 8 a.m of the london flows uh, review Olympic Games. galaxy note 7 hands-on so florence Olympic ion has had it obviously this year's yeah, she, olympic games and to look me. forward to the olympic this winter song? game it is. in yeah, Pyeongchang, korea in 2018. We are thrilled. Looks like so Florence more. had a what she the calls a brief hands-on waterproof. Right. Olympic games it's probably all they're allowed to release at this point. Water I'm resistant. <clears throat> and the spirit she says styling similar to Note 5. It's battery. metal and glass. Competitors like uh, Thepo Matibelli, the young runner from Lesotho, featured <laughs> in our new film. It looks like a uh, fighting expansion oh. slot sd slot this is much like the s7 Good. and mm. samsung has adopted because the type c connector all right so uh, then that that begs the question will this have anything to do with vr they'll have to do a new and, gear uh, vr won't new they? gear vr yeah, yeah. because the current uh, vr is micro usb of course uh, she says not compatible with quick charge 3 that may be because some of them are exynos versions quick, quick charge 3 is a snapdragon a qualcomm Technology. Oh, oh I don't London, know if I realized that that was many, attached to uh, Snapdragon. But they refuse to give up. Four gigs of RAM, AMOLED Quad run, HD display. I'm just going to do the whole presentation now, if you don't mind. Before it's open. Yeah, yeah, 12 megapixel <laughs> rear camera. That's kind of low. They took the lead with a 10 miles lap. And a 3,500 milliamp hour battery. That is. End of the race. 500 milliamp hours better and than Samsung, the Note 5. We are so inspired. I by really the want these companies to step up Surely the battery life and worry less about thinness. But yeah, some of the rumors, I but believe, were saying that the battery would 
potentially not be as good as the five. So that's Most good to hear. Yeah, very good to hear. Three we are inspired by his drive to defy barriers. Uh, she says and it's not she, yet to be determined the if the uh, USB fast the charging. There is a USB-C fast charging. Maybe that will work. Is this spirit? I don't know how you release a flagship these, you know, this without day charge. without no. some yeah. sort of fast charge. We're getting too used to that. I'm, so, I'm totally addicted to it now. Athlete. Yeah, I mean, once you have it, it's it's yeah. practically, like practically example, impossible to go backwards. We faced yeah. skeptics who doubted us. We heard from critics who dismissed the large screen and our new S Pen. Oh, so but we pat stay. They patting themselves on the back. Ooh, here. Well, they proved them, proved them wrong. I mean, the note yeah. has be become persevere. one of Samsung's best sellers. Today, large screen phones are the fastest growing segment of the smart home market. The new uh, S Pen here in the US is twice as pressure sensitive and has a more than clicky top. Every year According to Florence Ion, her uh, review at greenbot.com is already out. Who want to get the most from their phones. She likes the resistance in the pen. She better. says better than ever. But can you put it in the wrong way? <laughs> this is the important <laughs> question here. Well, well if you can, I'll do it. <laughs> I was going to say, can you put it in the wrong <laughs> <Yeah>. way, Leo? <laughs> the Galaxy Note was created for a generation of women and men who approach life with a purpose, who are committed yeah, to making their mark This rules me out. I, I don't actually approach life with well, so this. This is getting more positioned as a productivity device. Yes. yes. Productivity yes. and go. entertainment in a single device. For this generation... It's ironic that it's no longer... I was telling Ron, 5.7 inches is no longer jumbo yeah. in any respect. Right, and it's funny that he was saying, you know, that the large screen devices is such a huge thing now. I think we've moved beyond it being such a huge thing. And into it just being the thing. <laughs> you know, that's pretty much what you see are these larger screen devices. It's funny because now when I see people with a smaller screen device, that's when I stop and go, oh, what are you using? Yeah, you know, why? And why? Ones. And again, a crash. Aww. So we've had a couple of crashes. Uh, this is the YouTube feed, so uh, yeah. we'll try again. Hmm. Um, I wonder if it's our uh, machine. Um, you know, I could pull it up here and... We got three hundred nine thousand people watching the YouTube. Yeah, page. YouTube. Yeah, that's kind of tough. Nine thousand people watching. That's live. amazing, is that, isn't that, it? That interested in yeah. a large phone. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, well, you know, that's uh, that's actually considerably less than uh, Apple gets on its. Keys will love yeah, true. It because it will keep them safe from their parents. No, I'm, oh my! If you, go, I if you want to see the 360-degree uh, uh, version, I have it on my screen. <laughs> Mr. Ko oh. is is quite tiny. He's a little guy. He's, he's all the way off in the distance. He's quite. I guess I could zoom in. You will listen in detail. And then, as as true to form, you can't really turn around and look at the audience. You can only. They have a screen. Everywhere. So we can find the tiny Mr. Ko again. Where'd you, go? Where'd, you go, Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Mr. Co? Where'd you go, Mr. Co? Or even on loop. Ah, wireless charging. Thank you. Yes. But that's not new. That's, of course, been part of uh, all the galaxies of late. Because we know it is impossible to live without your phone. That's the reason we led the way with the wireless and fast charging technology. So your battery he does will say fast never charging. I let think, you down. I think that's what he said. Yeah. And let's talk about our S Pen. Our customers tell us that S Pen is the magic that unlocks their phone's power to help them create, invent, and explore. They've solved the tiny co problem by putting a giant co <laughs> behind the tiny behind co. the tiny co on the 360. <laughs> you could show that. We to. have been working <laughs> for seven years, and now we have made it even more precise, more responsive, and now water and dust resistant. So, Leo, you've been a 
a note fan for quite a while now. Since, since the very first. This year after year after wow. year. Yeah. The we S Pen, like, is that a digit. big reason why? Is it the form? Not for me, although I can understand for a lot of people it would be the ability to take handwritten notes mm -hmm. and annotate images and, and so forth. I like having the S Pen, but I don't use it all it's that much. Yeah. Uh, I gave my mom my Note uh, 3, and she loved it because she's an artist. For me, I just like the big screen, and now that big screens are everywhere, I don't know if the Note has as much to offer to people. It used to be the choice. For, mm -hmm. with the customers we don't even use partners. the word phablet anymore. And no. improving. Thankfully. With each <laughs> and, and it seems that a lot of this is bringing product. it in line with the other Samsung phones, with the water resistance and the, and yeah. the wireless charging. This, and all, like, it's like this is, the, this is the kit that you get with the Samsung phone. Yeah. Really, the New pen is the differentiator at this point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It really is. Beyond the boundaries. The device, and the, the kind of uh, productivity slash you know, maybe enterprisey sort of things that, that having a pen and a phone might right. might do. Yep. Like the, the timing of Samsung's reality. devices with the Several S7 and S7 Edge, or rather we their consumer-focused <clears throat> devices in earlier in this year, and they went five months strong with sales for that. Now things are tapering off. Now they release the, the Note, which kind of fills in a little bit more on the productivity business side of things to hopefully fill out the rest of the year and get them through the holiday season. So they've timed it well. Let's see if he talks about the iris uh, scanning the yes. capability. And the iConnect also help put your phone at the center of an entire galaxy of a powerful huh. experiences. That's a galaxy of experiences. You know, take my <laughs> on the enterprise side, HP's a new Elite phone, which is essentially a Windows it computer. You tie it to a thin mm -hmm. client the and using their continuum technology is... Innovation. An interesting way to play it, where it becomes your computer that you oh. carry in your pocket when you arrive somewhere. You no. Again. <laughs> just you have the VR their, version. There are things on. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> so iris scanner, analyzing data, yeah. so oh, futuristic. So <laughs> Jeez. Flo like uh, says the iris scanning is quite fast. All you have to do is hold the phone up to your face to unlock it. You don't even need to look at the camera. It's faster than unlocking with your thumbprint. Wow. It also unlocks any data or apps you put in the phone's secure folder. So this is an additional security factor. <clears throat> that's pretty cool, having a folders that, that you can secure that way. That's pretty Yeah, nice. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, tying content to the security yeah. unlock. Yeah. Florence seemed quite impressed with the camera. She said uh, a camera that puts every other phone to shame. Wow. I, is it going to be Nougat? Is it Android 7? Well, LG announced a few days ago that they were going to be the first phone to market with Nougat. Uh, with the V20, I can't remember the, the, na the model of that. Which would which comes out sometime, I think, late August, early September. Yeah, we, I so, mean, isn't uh, Android 7 available next month, or this month? Now suppose we're August, rumors yeah. are pointing to, to a release in the next couple of yeah, days. We have of some the, sort. the RTM on our uh, mm -hmm. Nexuses. So, so I, I think I think we're kind of expecting that this is going to ship with Marshmallow and be upgraded I, to Nougat. That's what I would expect, yeah. With, with all the Samsung bells and whistles and all that sort of stuff, I'd be surprised if it ships with Nougat this early. It's just not, not enough time to... Yeah. I will admit, I, I agree with Flo that that cobalt blue looks very nice. Yeah, subtle. It's not blue blue. It's a. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of a very dark blue. It sounds like Batman. It really does. It does yeah. I'm really using that pen as a graphical element. <laughs> like, just really driving it home that it's got a pen. If the, if you know what, I'm gonna be pissed if this is it i came all the way in <laughs> <laughs> it is my pleasure to introduce the samsung galaxy note 7. thank you very much good night <laughs> everything you heard was true it is well, they, they have nothing new to, to do that yeah. the samsung galaxy note 7. We're really at peak phone at this point because yeah. that looks exactly like the Note 5 or a, or a maybe an inflated S7. Okay, photos are enough. It was very difficult to find my jacket, 
to match with this color. <laughs> but you did a pretty like good it. job. Okay, you put know, a nice. lot of cobalt blue Zero jackets. Four, tell him you more about the most intelligent. Who's talking? That we have ever. Is he a ventriloquist? Created. I don't. My colleague now. Oh, we, we must have dual, dual audio going. Oh, we have somebody else's audio. Is that me? Thank you. That we yes, have sorry. Ever there we are. I apologize. That was, that was trippy. <laughs> My colleague <laughs> will explain in detail about... Actually, there's a coral blue. Oh, I see what you're Thank saying. You. This is not the cobalt blue we've seen before. This is a lighter coral that matches his jacket. So we're going to interrupt real briefly, come back to the Samsung Unpacked event. Uh, as we continue out of New York City. But don't forget that all of our live uh, special coverage brought to you by Braintree Payments. We love Braintree Payments. And I think if you're a mobile app developer, you will love Braintree Payments. You probably already know about it. Uh, Braintree Payments lets you accept every kind of payment with one easy integration in your app. And when a new payment type comes along, as they always do, you could just add it, a couple of lines of code, check a box in the... Uh, Control panel, and you're done. Whether it's the next Bitcoin, the next Apple Pay, the next Android Pay, or both. Fortunately, Braintree's full-stack payment platform is easily adaptable to whatever the future holds. So you can start accepting everything now. PayPal, credit cards, Venmo, Apple, and Android Pay. Yes, even Bitcoin. And in all the currencies of the world. No late nights, no complicated recoding, no worries about security. Braintree takes care of all of that for you. And with fast payouts... It's really affordable. This is just a no-brainer. No stress about staying ahead of the curve. Find out more. Go to braintreepayments.com slash twit. You can play with it. You can see how it works. It works, of course, in every single language, every single platform. Um, it, it's just waiting for you. It's like, why wouldn't you use it? Uber does. Lyft does. Airbnb hotels tonight. They all do. GitHub. BraintreePayments.com slash Twit. We thank them for their support of our Samsung Unpacked 2016 special. Let's get back to the stage and see what's going on. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Senior Vice President of the Product Strategy Team, Justin Dennison. Thank you. And thank you, DJ. Five years ago, we saw a growing need for a phone that would let you do more. It's amazing, five years. And when we introduced yeah. the first ever Galaxy Note, there was, was a punchline in all about like Android. We used to make fun of it. Yeah, I know. It was yeah. I was the one carrying it. Yeah. I was <laughs> when you were mocking, but I loved it. <laughs> well, that was, that was the Android on the streets, right? Like trying yeah, to... Yeah, that was Android in the wild. Android yeah. in the wild. Yeah. Trying, to, trying to spot a note in the Today, wild. There's a whole new generation of smartphone users. They're digital natives the authors of the new economy. And they're doing more than ever, all at once. At home, at work, and everywhere in between. I think for the we most part, the authors the of the live. new economy are carrying iPhones, but... Mm -hmm. Not just a phone with a big screen, but a phone that helps drive big ideas. Now, as we've evolved... God, any no of these hands-ons I'm finding sinus, aren't saying anything about what it's running. Marshmallow or... A smartphone that truly thinks big. Uh, oh, and, and then I found one. 6.0.1. Says yeah, uh, current version. Boy Genius Report. Current version. Our phones have become a part of us. Marshmallow. We carry them everywhere we go. And that means so the stylus the really is the biggest differentiator. As it is uh, mm -hmm. Who else does a stylus? And with the Note 7, we drew inspiration <sighs> from our flagship devices. This is the, yeah, I mean, who else, you know, what, what other major um, flagship device does this stuff? One. I mean, does the red mean no? Why is that so hard to do? Yeah. But adding dual curves to the Note 7? Dual curves. Not so easy. LG G4. If you bend them Had a stylus. The stylus. Edge, yeah. You risk cracking the glass. The red mean no, Xiaomi, but the Xiaomi. Too far from the edge. Um, and they dropped the it in the G5, surface. right? Yeah. We had to find that perfect balance to define that perfect curve. So using an advanced 3D thermoforming process with Gorilla Glass 5, that's exactly what we achieved. LG Stylus 2. With dual curves and a rounded back. The Note 7 is thin and narrow, 
with glass that feels like it wraps all the way around the device. So you get immersive videos and graphics and a beautiful, symmetrical design. And it's so that's, natural to use it in one cool. hand. The rounded You'll on both never sides. Believe it has a 5.7 inch screen. So they've got a slight, they've they borrowed a slight curve, but essentially. But the look and the feel of a phone is about right. more than the hardware. It's about Which the is software. kind of what we were hearing, is that it wouldn't be as, so as deep of a curve feedback. on the sides, but that it would be, stylistically, experience. it kind of brings it in line with the We the softened seven. the colors and made the icons uniformly rounded to be easier on Which your eyes. Which is smart. Uh, Samsung's uh, S7 Edge meaning, outsold the S7. From oh, yeah, the nobody even to a looks at the S7. I think everybody wants the Edge. As you can see, the sleekness of the Note 7 UX carries all the way through to the hardware itself, which comes in four stunning Ironically, I, at least for me, I turned Black off the Onyx, Edge features. Yeah, they right. just don't do anything for me, and, uh, and they just complicate the, the UI. I just like the look of the uh, infinity screen. Exactly. We also mm. designed an interactive motion wallpaper that comes to life as you tilt your device. <laughs> was that on the Fire Phone? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. It also, it <laughs> also has been on the iPhone for several let's, generations. Let's not talk about the Fire Phone. Fire phone. Let's keep this work, show sanitized. And how we play. <laughs> it's the connection between our analog world and our digital one. And as you push your limits, the S Pen has evolved to push you further. Please don't push we me. We wanted to make writing and drawing feel like using a classic pen on paper. So we reduced the diameter of the S Pen tip by more than 50% to 0.7 millimeters. Wow. It made it more That's precise pretty and sharp. sensitive no to pressure. Kidding. That is not necessarily good. With new creation tools. I guess you could draw more accurately. And now but, uh... you can simply hold down the side button and erase what you sketched. That's got an eraser now. We even made it possible to use the oil brush to mix new colors, just like you would with a real paintbrush. This, he this helps you blend borders, define shadows, and give depth to your paintings, as though your Note 7 were an this actual canvas. has got to canvas. be a very niche market. I mean, I think it's yes. awesome. Right? For sure. I remember when they when they showed Thank this you. off at, remember at uh, CES, and they had... Uh, Artists at easels painting with their notes, their neck out. Now, <laughs> this I use is probably the note for a lot of different four, things. but I mean, <laughs> digital artists, I have to imagine, are, are looking for a larger Sometimes form factor yeah. than a tiny phone yeah. screen. Like, not, again, well, nice to have. I don't, you know, um, I mean, they probably have the so iPad Pro if that's what they're actually doing. A single mm -hmm. app called Samsung Notes. Now, everything you do with the S Pen lives in one easily accessible place. That actually is a good idea. It was really a pain to switch around. We've gotten How did it take them this long to do Samsung to Notes? Yeah. Want. Well, they had a note-taking <laughs> app, but... But we yeah. also anticipate what they I need. think it's smart to put the functionality so in one app. So we've created an S Pen that's more intelligent than ever before. Let me give you some examples. With his Broadway the play. is now a translator. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> oh, this is cool, the translation stuff. In Brazil the other day. Can and you hand-write? And I kept pulling up write? restaurant menus in, well, Portuguese. Yeah, okay, this is... With the S Pen, I can hover over a word and get a translation on the spot. Oh, that's interesting. So now, Thank I you. was using Google Translate. Yeah, Google camera, Translate will do that. the camera yeah. to, the, to the menu, and that worked yeah. just yes, as good. It translates the whole menu. Yeah. You know, it's hard work making phones this good. So when things get a little crazy around the office and something comes up, the S Pen is like Smaller that stylus might help with this. I find it mm -hmm. uh, not useful to take to notes because you have to write so big. Yep. As, as you can display. see, you can get so eight words. Right there, top of mind. Oh, interesting. So it pins to the, to the display. Thank you. This was kind of the feature they had in the Note 5. Oh, and by the way, did I mention you could write you even when it was off. Right. On that was the thing you I wrote the pen. when I right. put the pen in backwards. Yours. The S Pen also helps you communicate when you just can't find the right words. With Smart Select, you can create a GIF animation with a simple gesture. If you don't write uh, good. Pull out your S Pen and make a clip of your favorite few seconds. It's Everybody a great way gifts. to share fun content. This is a, an just, interesting application course, for styluses. Working is, smarter is, is not uh, just about what you can do. As for it's user interface where features. You, can go. Mm -hmm. you should be able to take your Note 7 anywhere, even water. Now, of course, this is not a novel concept for us. 
We've been bringing water resistance to mobile since, well, the days of flip phones. But with the Note 7, it's not just the device we have to protect, it's the S Pen 2. I didn't know the S Pen. Well, I guess it makes so sense. Four engineers went to work, yep. sealing the S Pen from top to bottom, creating the first ever note that's water and dust resistant. It's IP68, which means it can survive in five feet of water. Interesting. I didn't know the note was minutes. not, previous notes were not, but I guess that makes sense. Thank you. It's amazing. Is it the I want to write a book while snorkeling. Yeah. The S Pen has always set the note apart. And unlike some Let's consider that the, in case you drop it in the toilet. The yeah, that's like pretty much what it is. Five feet of water for 30 minutes. You don't have minutes. to buy the S Pen separately, and you don't have to charge it before using it. Uh, like the Apple Pen. Yep. Right. And he waited to see if people would Pause. get his Thank dig you. at the As Apple Pen seen, in about eight The did. Note 7 thinks big. <laughs> and that's especially about true when it comes to they entertainment. <laughs> yeah, I love how he all, waited for that. These devices are as much about play as they are about work. And whether we're streaming a favorite movie or playing a really game or sharing a funny moment, against an iPad. we're doing more and more of it on our mobile devices. <clears throat> so we need them to deliver. But what does that take? It takes a phone that's faster, brighter, smoother, and sharper than ever before. It takes a phone that's at the cutting edge of the latest technology. It takes a phone like the Note 7. Consider streaming, for example. I'll consider it. We're watching more and more content on mobile these days, and we all want to have that TV quality experience. I think they picked somebody with small hands. Well, there's I'm a next generation saying, type of video that called screen looks High awfully Dynamic big. Range, or HDR. Ah, uh, HDR. It's the gold standard for TV picture quality. With HDR, colors and shadows are as vibrant and textured as the filmmakers intended. Now, you may have heard this term used in other contexts, but I promise you've never seen this technology or anything like it on a smartphone. I mean, you're really going to love it. It's, thank you. Pause. Oh, geez. That was awkward. <laughs> it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it's a giant leap forward at Samsung. We're proud to be leading the charge to bring this technology directly to you. Of course, I HDR mean, TVs so cool. are the thing of the year. Mm -hmm. That's why we've taken our powerful um, TV chips and adapted That's not the sort of thing mobile. that... Uh, so he says they're taking the TV technology, our which they... Our new mobile DNIE chip optimizes battery life while you're playing HDR video. This is interesting. And powers our most advanced imaging Have processing Have we seen crossover between today. Samsung's units like that before? No. And our Quad HD yeah. Super AMOLED screens? make the images come alive. That's interesting. So they have a special DSP for video playback. So we're collaborating with Amazon to bring you HDR, oh. to bring HDR content to mobile uh, for the first time. This is an interesting time. play. And this is just the beginning of a mobile HDR revolution that we're thrilled to share with you. We've also designed a new S-View standing cover, which keeps your phone propped up while you stream. And we continue to break down barriers when it comes to gaming. Our view is simple. You should have a high quality gaming experience, whether you're using a console or a smartphone. I'm thinking the MDNI e so chip on might require an Exynos. As we announced at the last unpack, this may be Samsung Vulcan, abandoning Qualcomm. An API hmm. that allows developers to bring console quality games to mobile. Vulcan. Unreal Engine already supports Vulcan. Vulcan. And soon the Note 7 gets Vulcan. Yeah. Nexus 9 Everything not. should get so in Really? Months, nope. <laughs> Nexus 9 the first Vulcan game <laughs> glory. Hit and need for speed, no limits. We've partnered with Google Play to bring you exclusive in-game giveaways from these and 11 other games in our Galaxy Game Pack. It's Vainglory. There it is. We'll keep bringing you benefits right in the middle. while you keep exploring new worlds. One of the better of course, ways to show off Vulcan. Sometimes rather than exploring a new world, we want to share the real world with our friends. But we don't always have that perfect light at the perfect moment. So we need a camera that takes great photos, no matter the situation. And earlier this year, we launched the S7 with the highest quality mobile camera we've ever designed. And now, We've integrated that very same camera into the Note 7. Thanks to its dual pixel technology, it's capable of capturing sharp, bright, and detailed photos. 
So it's just Even the same night, camera as the S7. The, the same excellent camera from the S7. So, so what was, Flo said this is the best camera she's ever used. It's the same as the S7 is an excellent camera. I mean, I yeah. I would say the S7 is the probably the best camera available. For and a who want to do more. How was the camera in the Note 5? And that's why we're giving you more. Uh, it was very good. We mm -hmm. doubled the base memory from the previous Note to 64 gigs. Oh, yeah. base memory, right 64 on. gigs. That's good. That's Jason, we were talking about that. Is that the new, is that now, the new standard now? The right. Axon is 64. Songs, and that seems like the right body. way to go. It seems I mean, like a good amount. Especially if, if you had an SD card, which looks like you're going to. Yep. The Note 7 also has an expandable storage slot yeah. that supports a micro SD card up to, 256. Up to 256 yeah. And gigs. who makes that 256 gig? Samsung. So you can keep mm -hmm. your That's favorite their music, <laughs> photos, videos with you at all times. I mean, let's be honest. It's a redonkulous amount of storage. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for redonkulous. We also <laughs> improved the processing power and the battery life redonkulous. of the Compared is he chillaxing? Mm -hmm. The Note 7 is about 30% more powerful. <laughs> and his GPU is about 50% more Yeah, I more think powerful. this is Exynos. I think they're not so going to use Qualcomm even in the U.S. More for this. Efficiently. But a phone that does big things and notice they're also not. needs a big battery to match. There you go. There's 100. So we gave the Note 7 the largest capacity battery of any Note we've ever made. Wow. That Thank you. <laughs> they need to, I'll be honest. Yeah. Um, yeah. A phone that big course, should have all-day battery all life. It sure point. should. So Samsung has led the way to bring you fast wireless charging. I mean, I love the convenience of setting my phone on the charger without having to fumble around with the cord. It's and not fast. It is faster. Go, you can use our new backpack, ah. which is ultra-portable, Water resistant and this something is one way I to solve personally it. never travel without. This is what the Moto uh, Z or is doing, right? You can yep. fast charge with, with our new with USB Pogo Type plugs, C yeah. cable. It's symmetrical, so you don't have to worry about plugging it in upside down. And they do have fast charging on Type C. And it's lightning quick. But uh -huh. don't worry, uh -huh. we aren't going to move to a next generation connector and leave you behind. Every yep. Note 7 will come with an adapter that's compatible with earlier Galaxy accessories at no additional cost. Ah, ah, there you go. Ah, so you there's the VR solution. Right. Smart, yeah. Smart, yeah. I'm guessing that's going to know what else it comes with? Treat the VR. An that's audio right. jack. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Apple's going to take some heat if they really do that. If all this means you've decided it's time to take a step up to the Note 7, We've got an app called Smart Switch that will make the process effortless. Samsung owners have been using it for years. And they so easily have transfer their data, their apps, their settings, owners. even their layout yeah. okay. to a new Galaxy device. And it's a worry-free way to switch to Samsung whenever you're ready. I have to say that's one of the nicest features of Android. And we didn't and stop there. It, well, it works with every Android phone. We know Android our users have been asking now. for a way to back up their information. So we're expanding smart switch features by introducing you don't have Samsung to have Cloud. A Samsung. With our new cloud, cloud service, 150 you'll be able gigs to free. store your important information and then restore it, even if you lose your phone. That's Note actually a very good idea. 15 gigs, we'll not 150. 15 gigs oh, 15. which is a big oh, difference. Big difference <laughs> on a 64 gig phone. That's not going to go very far. Thank you. <laughs> All of these innovations are about giving you a phone that works the way you live. But our proudest innovation is about giving you something you can't live without. That's peace of mind. We store our most personal information on our device. Samsung has, has been a leader in this. Passport numbers, Knox, email, and, yeah. it's all there. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the reasons Samsung phones are approved by the DOD for use right. in Private the and Pentagon. Protected. They're getting so it Samsung, right. Samsung, we ask yeah. ourselves, how can we make consumers feel confident in their security? Well, we started with hardware. The Note 7 is built with Knox, a defense-grade security solution that's embedded at the chip level. It They're building a great data, suite of and options secure. and applications and things that get, can apply to these phones. Yeah, this is an enterprise uh, phone. I mean, it's yeah. clearly it's where they're uh, aiming. Yeah. So whether you're on the go or playing Pokemon Curious if Go, they do a dock. you don't want to be slowed down with security. 
So we challenged our engineers to design a security system that's convenient and safe at the same time. Iris? A few years ago, we answered that challenge with the fingerprint scanner. Yeah, here comes Iris. And today, we're taking another step forward in biometric security, pushing past the limits of what many believe possible. So what is the technology be behind the Iris scan? scanning? I know there's a Windows phone that does Iris scanning. Is it a, yeah, and is it a pain in the butt because you have to constantly well, move in and out until it gets at the right focal length. Right. Um, apparently, this does not. Iris and this, the of course, to Florence, you just you don't even have to be looking into at a it. unique dis digital signature. It took five years to perfect, but it only takes a glance to unlock your phone. If that really works, that will be a, a great solution. And this isn't the only software innovation designed with your Face Unlock 2.0. Actually, yeah. 3.0. Yeah. Yeah. You saw the need for an added level of privacy. <laughs> Got to see if it works with glasses, of course. Yeah, right. And, uh, how so we created tricky the it is. Folder. I love this you idea. Store information on your phone that only you can access. Now using your not, iris. Not even Samsung. I mean, think about it this way. We give our phones to friends and family all the this time. This is a very good idea. To read an article or look at photos. But just because I trust my friends to look at pictures on my phone does not mean I want them going through my texts and emails. So with Secure Folder, I can keep certain apps and content under lock and key. I can even make it invisible to other people. We also saw the need for faster and easier ways to get online. So this will be, you know, we're going to need a lot of testing on you this, You can I think, already use your fingerprint sure. to log into the How big is the secure folder? What can you do? Can you move all your photos into a secure folder? Would that be possible? Now, search the web in secret mode. Now, you can mode. do both with the iris scanner. Huh? And this is just that's the beginning. We've been working on Samsung Pass a new service that's going to replace IDs and passwords altogether. Interesting. Whoa. And allow you to simply identify yourself with a simple eye scan. <laughs> Banks and financial institutions recognize the added security that iris scanning technology provides. Adopting that's so, going to be a challenge. We're joining forces like with, with Bank of America, Citibank, U.S. Yeah, Bank, Yeah, Samsung KBR, certainly Shinon, always has a big... Big ideas, big hopes for their services when they, yeah. you know, into your mobile they work on the shoot for the stars. I have to say, uh, <clears throat> adoption of fingerprint part of login for banking apps has really been mm -hmm. pretty widely adopted at this point. Yep, for sure. It has a big screen and allows you to bring big ideas to life. It's water and dust resistant with an intelligent S Pen. It has state-of-the-art security Next generation entertainment, the biggest battery, expandable memory, and a perfectly symmetrical design. All of this in a phone that fits comfortably in your hand. That's the essence of the note. It's why we pioneered the category and have continued innovating ever since. We are so excited for you to try the Note 7. And luckily, you won't have to wait long. It will be released starting August 19th. And pre-orders will begin in most countries in a matter of days. The countdown to the Note 7 starts now. Price? In a moment, my colleague Suzanne will come on the stage to talk to you more about how the Note fits into the broader Samsung Galaxy. But first, take a look. And iris scanning compared to something like fingerprint scanning just I, I wish I understood how the technology is working underneath. I mean, it's it's more secure, right? Because I mean, with a fingerprint, you can you can duplicate a fingerprint. Yeah, it's much harder to duplicate right. an iris. Yeah. <laughs> and I, you know, iris is like a fingerprint in the sense that everybody has a unique right. pattern uh, of uh, colors and shapes in their iris. Um, if you have a good reader, I think you know the, the nice thing about fingerprint is how quick and easy it is. Yeah. The product planning team, um, Suzanne You don't have to hold your phone up to your eye, which makes right. it you know, usable in a dock. It makes it usable in a lot of uh, situations. You can, you can that turn the screen on as you're pulling it out. It's a little mm -hmm. trickier. Hey, everyone. Hey. Hi. Hey, girl. So far, you've been hearing about what an extraordinary smartphone the Note 7 is. It's actually the perfect example of an idea that DJ introduced at the last Unpacked. <laughs> By connecting you to products, services, and partnerships, all of a sudden, the Note 7 becomes more than a smartphone. 
it becomes the gateway to powerful new experiences that let you do I'm going to guess it's Exynos even in the U.S. at this From point. Shooting they're videos, use, if they're going to pump, pump that uh, new right to where you um, are. HDR so capability. Yeah. To disconnect. To buying what you the lack of uh, Quick even Charge 3, I, I think this is all Exynos. The Note 7 and it makes sense. Well, you know, the only reason they had to use Qualcomm in the U.S. is for the radios, and I think that they've solved that problem. Mm -hmm. One of the most exciting examples of this is virtual reality. Oh, here's the VR. Samsung. Hit that on your we bingo saw card. The potential of virtual reality when it was still in its infancy. Verge is saying uh, A20. A20 in the really? U.S. Oh. Other markets have the Exynos oh. processor. Oh. Now, there you go. industries I was wrong. from real estate to healthcare to entertainment are using this new medium to bring users to the center of the action. Media companies are using 360 camera to live broadcast everything from sporting events to concerts. And independent filmmakers, they're jump-starting a new kind of storytelling told from each and every angle, whether it's skydiving, skateboarding, or being at the Oscars. News organizations are using virtual reality to take first-person journalism to another level. And thanks to our new partnership with Reuters News and Neuro News, we're putting our ultra-portable Gear 360 in the hands of reporters all over the globe. So now, Instead of just delivering the news, these cameras are literally changing our perspectives. All right, look, it's one thing to hear me talk about it, but to really get it, you've got to see it for yourself. Look under your chairs. So now, put on your Gear VR and check out this amazing footage. This is and the so point when Mark Zuckerberg walks on stage. <laughs> Sneaks on stage. <laughs> and that includes behind you. It's his thing. It's his party trick. Anywhere, so they all have connected uh, Gear VR uh, helmets. Not everyone's putting them on. <laughs> they don't. Uh, they don't trust it. They were. Well, the they were fooled. Get nauseous. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's looking for Mark. I guarantee you. There's something about a crowd of people with those visors on sitting there. Yeah, it looks as dumb as the red green glasses did in the 3D yeah. era. Brazil. There you go. Uh, you know, it's. I'm starting to think this is kind of gimmicky. I know it's the next big thing and everything, but it's kind of disorienting. And uh, I think it has its uses, but I'm not sure it's something you want to do a lot of. Yeah, you get hints of uh, the whole 3D push from however many years ago that seemed to kind of fade away. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still ex pretty excited about VR. I, ju I just have yet to see the killer app that everyone's yeah. like the, the Pokemon Go of VR. You know? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was pretty impressive, wasn't it? Everything mm. you just saw was created using the Gear 360. And instead of leaving it only to the professionals, we're bringing the Gear 360 to you. We're empowering you to create that immersive content for yourselves. To take that immersive so, experience. Retina that scan you just is as as opposed to iris scan. Oh right. They're gonna use People iris scanning, which is a, a simpler technology. To their best friend's um, wedding. It uses a Personally, video camera with infrared illumination. Okay. My cousin's baby shower and it takes a picture of your iris, which is the colored like portion around your YouTube. pupil. And the iris patterns are they're sharing it with the world. distinct and don't change. And that's important. As they're, you just they're stable. Sure. The best way to enjoy this 360 content is with our Gear okay. VR. And thanks you to your maybe feedback, used it if you use Global VR Entry or some of the other uh, clear used iris scanning. A it's number also of, a lot of more immersive with bigger lenses that bring you even travel solutions to, to that. It's backward compatible with the Galaxy devices of today and forward looking with a USB type C port to help developers create Oh, so there it is. Tomorrow. The new Gear VR We're with so USB C. We're so excited to see what VR developers will create from sensors and motion controllers that let you play virtual tennis to software that lets you interact with virtual objects. Virtual reality is changing the way we understand and interact with the world. And this is just the beginning. Now, of course, the Note 7 is not just a gateway to Samsung's virtual reality experiences. 
it opens up so many other experiences too. Take fitness. Man, it seems like her accent is like changing. <laughs> <laughs> when she first started talking, I felt like it was a thick accent, and then it went not quite, and now it's like fluctuating. When you put on a gear fit 2, it logs your activity with its built-in GPS. Typical of somebody so whether who you're walking, running, or cycling, you can perhaps tell came how from fast, the how UK far, how and has lived in the U.S. for a long for time. A long time. And when yeah. you're squeezing in a workout between meetings, you can still stay on top of messages and reminders without breaking Squeezing in a workout in between meetings. What I love about my gear Do what you got to do, Ron. <laughs> Even when I'm not. Anybody planking fact, with a phone next to them <laughs> deserves to be kicked. Planking while checking your email, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you don't miss a thing. Don't miss a thing. All right, the, uh, let's see fitness. how well I've done. I've taken 7,001 steps and burned Today? enough calories to add fries to my lunch. <laughs> now, this is the kind of real-time <laughs> feedback that keeps you active even when exercise is the last thing on your mind. The Gear Fit 2 makes working out easy. This is and running Tizen, right? Yeah. Ears. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. If yeah. you're anything like me when I'm jogging, my core is my biggest concern with uh, uh, Samsung. I love Samsung products, but I feel like they're also X, moving into a more proprietary world. Experience. And I think I can also for most users, Nexus is probably rate, and speed. a pure All experience. I, just, I, I, I love what Samsung does playlist. in terms of features. This iris scan, the pen, the VR. That's what we saw, the that's what we saw in the last Impact event, event is that they're are trying to go after Apple and building the right. Galaxy right. world. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. It makes me nervous. Tizen makes me very nervous. Because that's, of course, its own operating system. And quantifiable. Yeah, it just always seems to go Using back to, health, you know, if staff, Samsung is the dominant force friends. for Android devices, really will most of those people care? The people, you know, yeah. the users Well, they don't, using. apparently. The market is, is voting My friend Frankie and I their dollars. Samsung's clear leader. Challenges. Yeah. And because we won't always want to beat each other, we're exercising now more than we have in years. Of course... This is just one of the ways the Note 7 makes life more convenient. Another is Samsung Pay, our mobile's payment service that's revolutionizing Samsung how we Samsung Pay's talk. done very well because it yes. works with Stripe readers. Yeah, I really like Samsung Pay. Yeah, I've heard great things about it. I've used it a lot, and uh, it always surprises people with old card fact, readers that I can use like it. We don't have that yet. Oh, yeah. yes, you do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 2016 Olympic Games in Brazil. There will be working with Visa to bring pre-orders in the uh, U.S. I guess, according to Scooter X in our chat room, are starting tomorrow. You get a free Gear Fit or 256 gig SD card with a pre-order. They've done that in the past. Yeah. So giving, but this is a this is a significant uh, yeah. premium Gear Fit or a 256 gig card. I don't even know what I would choose. This is at AT and T. Sprint, T-Mobile, U.S. Cellular, and Verizon. And it looks like the full color range will be available at all the carriers. Blue Coral, Silver, Titanium, Black Onyx, Best Buy, Amazon, Car Toys, Sam's Club, Target, and Walmart as well. This is from droidlife.com. Going wide with this. They're really yeah. So then the pre-order deal works at Amazon, Best Buy, and those other stores yeah, as well, the way not they, just the they've done it, carrier? Yeah, the way they've done it uh, for me is you, uh, in the box, you, you get a URL to go to, and you enter in your, your uh, IMEI or... We believe and, that uh, technology and then months later, I mean, I didn't get my smarter, my Gear VR for my S7 yeah. for we four months. Yeah. Four no, months. I got mine a couple of months yeah. ago. Which was, and yeah, definitely months exactly after. Exactly yeah. what the Note 7 will deliver. Which means by that so, time you will have bought a memory you card. <laughs> you probably won't have bought a Gear <laughs> Fit, so I, I'd go with a Gear Fit. Yeah. I don't know if I would need 256 now, gigs of memory, to be honest. I have a 200 gig memory card, right and right I, here. you know, it's, it's and get crazy. Ready to peek into the, future. So the thing that's interesting is, uh, and Thank one you. of the things I like about the Axon is you have a choice between adopted memory, which is yeah. Google's choice, and this standalone SD card. The advantage of a standalone SD card is you can pull it and put it in a new phone, and in many and cases... There's your library or your, whatever your, it happens your, to be. Uh, in my case, Audible books are all there. And uh, that did work for me. It was, I took it out mm -hmm. of... Uh, the uh, S7 and put in the Axon and all my Audible books were there, which was nice. More drums. This is the, the glimpse into the future. The future will have future drumming. Future is loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
It's amazing that all these drums were recorded with the S Pen as the drumsticks. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be kind of cool if they actually had drummers in the auditorium. I wouldn't put yeah, it past the Samsung. USC marching band, the Trojan marching <laughs> band or something. Man, that promotional hardly showed anything. I blame Fleetwood Mac for that. I think Tusk really changed popular music forever. <laughs> They're not showing anything. What I'm They're just showing uh, like, this is just epileptic seizure material. Frankly, I don't. This is like Captain EO. Oh, these are okay. People are getting up now and going into the. Uh, what's I it's can't, a choreographed thing? Is it? Those Samsung are couldn't help yes. themselves. No. <laughs> uh, maybe they're, they're real drummers. Be, they're all dancing with the note. Oh, this must be the demo table. This must be yeah. the demo tables. That's what's going on. They're lining up the demo tables. So, and we're exactly one hour in highly choreographed. Uh, that crowd. was that, odd. That's cool. You know, that's a marching band thing. Ladies and gentlemen, the product experience area is now open. Please come and join us on stage. If you didn't get a preview like Florence Ion, Oh, so they've got attendants there who will show them. Yeah, that's who was marching yeah. in. Yeah. yeah. All, right. All right. Well, I guess that was it. Did they actually say goodbye? <laughs> mm, <laughs> or did uh, they just kind of go into drum mode? Yep. Yeah. I think they had a kind of some sort of coda. Like, All right. All right. It's the best, it. thinnest, lightest, superest phone we've ever made. All right. So no surprises. No. Nope. Um, <laughs> But Not a few all. things were wrong in the rumor mill. They didn't yeah. get the battery size wrong. And I'm really happy about that because when I read that it, what I had read specifically is that the the battery would be less than the the Note 5 and more on par with what you get just out of the box with like the S7 or whatever. Um, so, and when I think of the Galaxy Note series, I mean, that's really far at the top of the list is bigger battery full day, you know, lasting for a full day, which is kind of what you need if you're relying on a device in, let's say, the enterprise or in a productivity environment. Really so only I'm happy about that. two features right. that are distinct from any other phone costing a less. I mean, I'm going to use as an example the OnePlus 3, the Axon, these $400 right. uh, Chinese feature phones, not feature phones, flagship phones. Um, the, the two features are, well, several features, I guess, because you have to include pen, iris scan and Knox and the secure store um, but those might be enough for people to um, to say I'm gonna spend twice as much and uh, go with a, a galaxy note go with the big brand did we get a price did not but that to me m indicates it'll be the same eight hundred dollar kind of or 750 yeah. all right the, the, th the thing about the note users is that there's su the people who jumped on the note at any point much like you Leo are super loyal to it yeah you know, so it almost becomes where pri they're like, oh, I'm just going to get the next note. You know, I have yeah. friends who are who are just waiting for this announcement because they want to see what the next phone they're going to get is. Um, and then you hope that you can bring over other people who are curious about it. You know, like a friend of mine who was uh, an iPhone user was like, was like, oh, I'm thinking of getting a Samsung phone. How's the note? You know, that was the first one out of the, out of the gate. Uh, so it's seen it, as the kind of the, the top of the line, right? It's yeah. the best you yeah. can get. Yeah. Um, it's kind of the limousine. Mm -hmm. of, of, of <laughs> smartphones. Uh, but I mean, aside from, aside from the water resistance and the design touches, I mean, not terribly groundbreaking. I mean, it just seems as if they're bringing a lot of the other features from the Galaxy line over to the Note, and updating it, uh, and, you know, and, and improving what the pen can do, making the tip smaller, the translation things and things like that, but nothing, nothing really mind-blowing. Highly incremental, it. right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, although I have to say, I'm, you know, I was really disappointed with the Note 5 that there wasn't an SD card. This was 64 yeah. gig, but there yeah. was no SD card. So I survived. We've, we've got correction going on all over yeah. the place as far as that's concerned. Yeah. You know, uh, they, they, made, they realized they made a mistake. With well, the yeah. they, they said in the, last, in the last event, we listened to our customers. Yeah. 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 Um, but, I, but, but is this enough for you to run out and replace uh, a Note 5 with a Note 7? I don't know. I think not. Maybe not with a Note 5, but again, we're kind of, you know, settling into this this area where people are just really used to, I mean, unless you're really fanatical about this stuff, people are really used to lasting two, two years. years. 
two, two years. years. I mean, everything's yeah. set up for two years. Yeah. You know, you're right. you're gonna get your updates for two years. Yeah. Things just start to kind of slow down. <laughs> At least in the world of Android, two years is when things start to kind of you know bottleneck a little bit, and uh, you start to actually notice eh, maybe it's time to start looking. Maybe it's time to start thinking about what the next step is. So for a note, you know, for a Note Four user, I'd say so. I'm thrilled to see the Type C connector too. Mm -hmm. that, uh, this really seals the deal uh, that all the new phones will be Type C, mm -hmm. um, and thank goodness, uh, micro USB is is gone. It means you can buy all new cables, right? And uh, <laughs> and finally dump micro USB. It also means you're going to have to throw out your old Gear VR. Uh, they <laughs> just got work, one though. though. An adapter, right? It must be a very well, short adapter. They, well, they said that that adapter that they're shipping in the box with the Note Seven um, allows for older devices right. i'm curious to know if that actually applies to um, oh, to the this. gear vr specifically uh, yeah, because yeah. they've got a new gear vr uh, for this so right. i think yeah. i think he mentioned i think he i think he said gear vr specifically did he I okay wrong, but i think he did yeah so i missed that but that would be yeah. nice to to know well and note they're not giving away this time a gear right. vr is one of the as yeah. the premium the premium if you order well, tomorrow in the u.s is a gear fit two they're smart band which they showed very briefly on stage or a uh, 256 gig samsung well, evo SD well, it's card. funny when when they announced the Galaxy S7, they gave away the Gear VR, and it's that one you've got there, Leo, the older. And now we've got this new Gear VR, so they're not going to give away the new one, you know? <laughs> <laughs> not yet. No. Just, just got that's this true. One. That's a good they point. Literally, just a couple of months ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a really good point. Yeah. Uh, have you? So, I mean, as far as the Gear Fit Two is concerned, have you? Had, I haven't used it. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen that either. Um, I'm curious. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, and I'm curious to play around with the iris scanner, obviously. I think what I like about what Samsung has been doing for the last little while is that they're, you know, Samsung historically has been known for throwing everything in the kitchen sink into their devices and, you know, I, I don't know, somewhere deep down expecting that, that users are going to resonate with all those features and everything. Meanwhile, I feel like a lot of people would get these phones and they'd see all these extra bloaty features and they'd never use them. And it felt kind of like a waste of time, a waste of focus for Samsung. Samsung right. seems to be focusing a little bit more around the things that might actually make a user experience better that don't require a lot from the user to like buy into their vision. If iris scanning actually works well seamlessly, like Florence Ion says on Greenbot, uh, that it did for her, that might actually be a useful feature. And it wouldn't be like gimmicky like the face unlock yeah. was when Android rolled yeah. that out years yeah. ago. Yeah. You face know? unlock wasn't very secure. <laughs> no. And they and the phone, the Windows useless. phone that used uh, <laughs> iris scanning uh, was really a pain because you'd get messages closer, farther up, yeah. down. And it it was it took so long. If it's you, finicky, you're not going to use you're it. You're not going to use it. Same thing with fingerprint reading. And they yeah. are going to have the same Samsung home button, same Samsung finger, fingerprint reader on the front. I wish they would kind of dump that. I'm not crazy about the physical home button. But, yeah, me neither. Uh, that's it's that's their thing. That's Samsung. That's life as it's in Samsung land. And he did say that they've been developing this iris scanning technology for over five years. So clearly, they waited till they felt as if they got it right after seeing the other missteps from other companies. Right. So. Yeah. yeah. For sure. The gear, the new Gear VR, interestingly, uh, this is according to Droid Life, also will support a lot of Samsung phones, including the S7, S7 Edge, Note 5, S6 Edge Plus, S6, S6 Edge, and the Note 7. So this is kind of one, one visor to rule them all. All right. Um, so that's good news. Um, so it's a sleeker design. It looks. I mean, I, I don't know if it's just the darker color as opposed to the white or whatever, but it just looks. Well, you know, she she mentioned it's more ergonomic. But yeah, and they're eliminating like, the top strap, uh, yeah. which I think is kind of you know maybe not necessary. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean, doesn't that improve stability? Well, a little bit. I don't know. It makes you look more like a dork. Well, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, that's you're wearing sure. VR. I mean, it's just <laughs> what are you gonna do? There's nothing you can do, right? <laughs> Oh, uh, you know what? I've been seeing a verge thing. It looks like they do have. They the do top have the strap. top strap. It's probably an optional thing. Okay, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't. You don't have to have the top strap. Yeah, for stabilizing. C cardboard doesn't have any stress, case. right? You just. Yeah. That's true, but you're holding that sucker to your face the whole time. You know, at least. I think VR, actually Google may turn out go. to be smart having done that because it's easy to, when you get a little queasy, just lower the. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And it's <sighs> okay. And I think that gives people kind of a. You feel a little trapped sometimes in these things. Yeah. And, uh, I think that gives people kind of some reassurance that it's it's just yeah. holding on. Uh, Galaxy Note 7 has 518 pixels per inch on the Super AMOLED okay. screen. So probably going to look, I mean, about as sharp as they come for the most part yeah. in something like the Gear VR. Yeah. Uh, and also, not to mention HDR, high, uh, high definition. 
Uh, it's that HDR video. And or that, high that dynamic range, That's sorry. very yeah, interesting. High, high dynamic range. And that's the very content deal with Amazon is interesting as well, too. If, it, yeah. if, this is the, if that's a suggestion of what Amazon is going to be doing moving forward with a lot of their original content and producing an HDR and trying to roll it out that way, as Amazon continues to try to become the, you know, they're fighting to make to become a media hub. Uh, so that, that's that. I thought that partnership was surprising. Mm -hmm. Florence uh, says that the TouchWiz interface is dialed down even more. They've been slowly doing that bit by bit over time. Good. And it yeah. has a blue light filter, which, of course, is a feature built into uh, Android 7. Uh, but uh, they're adding that as well, so you can read at night. I, oh, okay. I do, like I do feel like they've been yeah, they, they, they've been dialing down the things that I've criticized Samsung about doing. Sure. Like less about their suite of apps, less about yeah. all that stuff, and, and more about features. And, Jason, like you said, things that actually will move the needle on someone who's looking to buy a new phone. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, there you have it. Uh, we don't have a price. We do have availability. Uh, it'll... It'll, it'll come to you on the 19th, but you'll be able to pre-order starting tomorrow with all the major U.S. carriers. And if you do pre-order tomorrow, uh, you will have a choice of two premium items, the new Gear Fit 2, or which is a band, not a watch, but a band uh, with a watch with a kind of curved watch face uh, or a 256 gig SD card. They're smart to include that as a premium because it underscores the fact that this is one of the few phones that can handle yeah. an SD card that big. And, for and sure. I like the, the I like the, the the windows are getting shorter between the announcement and the release yeah, date. My my yeah. dream is that one of these days we see one of these and they go and the phone is available today. Yeah, you know, like that. Like yeah. if, if they can keep getting that supply chain down to the point where they tied in with the announcement, uh, it's interesting to see. But two weeks is not too bad. Yeah. Before, before we wrap it up, just real quick, we've got you know flagship devices like the Note, which were you know the Note Seven, which we're expecting to be somewhere around the seven hundred eight eight hundred dollar range, and then you've got all these that we were talking about earlier, like the Axon and the the One Plus uh, Three. That's you know bringing up, I mean most of this stuff, maybe maybe not all of it, but most of it for half the price. Is there room for eight hundred dollar device, you know, premium devices like this? I'm guessing there is. I mean, certainly Apple's not going to drop the price on their right. iPhone Seven. Uh, and I think that the way you make it premium is with these little extra things like a stylus, um, like uh, the Knox, like mm -hmm. the Iris scanner. And that's, you know, that gives people a, a rationale for it. If you keep it to, for two years uh, and it costs you twice as much, um, I don't know. You know, that's yeah. an interesting question. These these top high-end phones seem to still sell very, very right. well. Yeah, I guess that's the overarching point yeah. is that Samsung is not... I mean, was, again, Samsung has kind of leveled out a little bit and is doing okay once again, yep. selling a lot of phones uh, strongly on the, the, the S7 line. The S7 was a huge well, That's hit. an expensive the biggest, line. The biggest yeah, Jason, hit I, I, I'd say they're doing more better than okay. I mean, we were looking yeah. at the, we were talking about the sales numbers last week, yeah. and, and right now they've surpassed the iPhone. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I would say, if anything, Samsung's on a roll. Yeah, I would say uh, so. You know, and interesting, yeah, would, their timing now of doing uh, two events a year. So mm -hmm. every six months they'll have a new phone. Yeah, which I think is also smart. I think it keeps yeah. them fresh. Yeah. Absolutely. Ron Richards, great to talk to you. I hope you're enjoying your new city. Happy to have my new old city, enjoying it very much. Yes. But, uh, happy to yeah. be here. Always I see fun. that you've you've started decorating the walls. You've I, got I have, a single yes, poster got, up got there. Little, we got a little stormtrooper there keeping me company. <laughs> so, yeah, so there we go. But, uh, yeah, no, it's all all's good. So one, it's a pleasure one poster. That's it. Yeah. One poster. That's all you need. Yeah, that's all you need. That makes it home. Thank you, Ron. We'll catch you, of course, Tuesday uh, tonight at yep. 5 p.m. Yep. Uh, Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, 2400 UTC, or a little later, uh, for All About Android. I have That's a right. feeling I know what you'll be talking about tonight. This will be on. I'm curious to know, and because Florence obviously had a hands-on with Greenbot, and she'll, she's on the show tonight. So I'm hoping that means that she might come into the studio with this, but I can't make any guarantees. I don't know that for sure. We'll see Gosh, Jason Howell uh, next, 4 p.m., Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, 2300 UTC for TNT, as he does TNT. every Monday through Friday. Yes. And then all about Android. That's right. Uh, thank you for joining us, and thanks to our sponsor, Braintree. Don't forget, Braintree gives you an easy way to accept multiple payment types with one easy integration. If you're a mobile app developer and you want to have the same payment system that makes Uber and Lyft and Airbnb and Hotels Tonight and uh, GitHub work and Pinterest work, then you want Braintree. Learn more at braintreepayments.com slash twit. I'm Leo Laporte. Thanks for joining us for this Twit Live special, Samsung Unpacked 2016. Bye-bye.